to go to and our old doctor was so far away, so I thought, I'll just try to find someone uh, that can help with your specialty that you need. And all you have to do is go to ZocDoc.com slash bad friend and download the ZocDoc app for free Brand and find way. a book at top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash bad friends. ZocDoc slash bad friends. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash friends. ZocDoc.com slash bad friends. Can I talk a little beast over here right now? Between you and I? Oh. Oh, I spent, them, I spent, I haven't gone for four weeks. And for people that are like, if the episode seems uh, behind, we had to backlog some of them because I was out of town for a month, for one month promoting my special. And while I was in Austin, I got to see my dog. very, very good. Mr. Adam Eagle. We took our dog for a walk. Hang in the claw wounds all over, all over the body. And we spoke about that. But those indicate feeding. And we said, you think he died from a blow to the head. No Ove here. Maybe the fiend yeah. dragged him off. And he said, Bobby wants to do the podcast about talking about And I said, he didn't tell me about that. He said, yeah, he gets here, he really wants to do it. He, 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 and he said, he could take the place of bad friends. He really what he said. He said, that's what you said. He could take the place of bad friends. <laughs> do you mean that? Because we can call him and ask him, that's what he said you said. Is that real? People still know Adam, he's the manager of the comedy store. He also was on Norm McDonald's show. One of Norm's probably closest friends. Uh, got to do a lot of the Okay. So, um, do you care to comment? I'm going to stay in the Number one. Might want to look around I some. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a half truth. Half truth, Okay. Some of that shit is real. Number one. Number one. I already said. Yes. Which is based on. Okay. Number two. Right? Number two, I've been trying to listen to podcasts with Deep States Mind, you know what I mean? Where, where, you know, Star Trek Press podcast. Sure. And they're not funny and they're not great, right? So I said, I, I called Adam, I go, are you interested in doing for a year? That's not what I said. For a year. I want to look around. Wear the fucking costume. He thought you said do it for a year, not for a year. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call him now. He's saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna call him now. You're gonna kill him now. <laughs> yeah, Adam, I'm good. And I spent oh. some time. I spent some time down Austin. And I gotta tell you. No. It's fun though. I was there right before you. I had a great time. Oh yeah, Juice was there and sold some shit and sold out some shows. Same with Angel. Hey man, you got a problem, dude. Yes, we do. You know what the problem is, dude. Don't play I, dumb. I'm gonna say this too, dude. Don't play dumb. But the last time I called you, you put in the trade me. Yep. On the show, so. Yep. Um, so you, What's going on, Adam? <laughs> yeah, so. so Adam, Why are you lying to me and then saying something else to Bobby, dude? Adam. Do you two know what? Hey, man. Hey, chill out. Hey, out. hey chill, chill. Our right. show. So, what I'm asking you, dude, is this, bro. All right? <laughs> I called you to do a Deep Space Nine podcast, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you and I were coming up with names, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I said two grubs would be a good one. Yep. Space juice is a good one. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, you told um, Andrew Santino that I wanted to replace two grubs with bad friends. That's not what I said. What I said is that you and I would be. Exactly. Jeff is yeah, I love it. We walked along the water and you said to me, Bobby says he wants to replace bad friends with two grubs. That, that, that's what you Adam? And Bobby doesn't believe you one bit, bud. Oh, no, I believe Across to the other side. I believe Adam on this, dude. Bobby you're doesn't believe you at all. Yeah. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're a redhead idiot. I tell him. Bomb fail. Thank you, dude. So anyway, we're still like a troop drop, right? <laughs> or just throw me some names. We're never gonna get laid anyway, dude. We're fucked. Do you think you're gonna get pussy from a Star Trek podcast, you loser? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. I love you. I love you. Bye. So you let me lie. Came this way, tumbling trees. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
came this way, tumbling trees. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> She does. <laughs> Holy shit. That fancy literally texts me and goes, don't know what's up with you, she. Yeah. The most <laughs> Spanish bitch. Whoa. And then she hung up the phone. She goes, Whoa. Spanish. Get it done, Spanish Whoa. bitch. Whoa, it's too good. I'm yeah. learning from you guys. You're my mentor. Are we rubbing off on her? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, man? That's our style. You no, can't blame me for anything. We have to lock you in, I think. I, I'm, I'm being real. But if you sign, I sign a contract Yellow with tunic. you, you have to sign a contract with me. Must be a way. Those boys. Um, at least stay friends. There's that at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't sign that. Oh, I love it. I can't and sign that. You though. have to say hi to me. No, 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 no. I'll never sign that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never sign that. I got recognized with a pet code. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you texted me that. Yeah. It was wait, crazy. wait, what, what, what was the story? story? Yeah. I've only been recognized at, out in the world, like usually by the comedy club, so out in the world maybe four times. In the real world. In the real world. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, I went yesterday to Petco to get some treats for my dog, and the guy goes, what's your number to for the account? And put it in, he goes, have you been here before? Like, I love this. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, like a hundred times. And he's like, have I talked to you? I'm like, I don't know, man, but I should be in the system. And he's like, no, I just, I'm a bad friend. Oh, that's so fucking oh, that's cool. So fun. Was he cute? <laughs> he, was, he was cool. He was cool. He looked pretty young. Yeah, but he okay. was super cool. And he had, I just, I, yeah, I thought, I it. Love it. I thought there was a problem with my account. No problem with your account. <laughs> and uh, when that happens, do you blush? I just think, um, I go, oh, that's cool. Man. I go, that really that's made my day. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, it made my day. And it was just really nice. And, so. that's, 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 like, that just like, makes my heart. <laughs> I, I love too. that this whole, how cool this guy would have to go. Oh, it's awesome. I feel like we're in a game. Speaking of which, that's much better than what happened to me on the flight. What happened to you? I told this on the miles out. It was so funny. This guy, I'm I'm watching a movie on my iPad. What does that say to you? Talk to me right now. Talk to me right now. Okay, so, middle of the flight. So wait, you're you're first class? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Can I I be out this? Is is it a steward? Is it a... I didn't tell you, he went on the flight. So somebody else on the flight, is he walking by? He's in here. No, he's nowhere near me. He walked up to me. So, from coach to first? I don't know where he came from, but I'm going to That's very important. Yeah, from coach. He came from the back. That's a no-no. He's by the back. Okay. He comes up to you. You're watching something. Engaged on my iPad. Headphones yeah. on. And then he go, He interrupts you. Stands right over, like, standing on top of me. Yeah. And Leaning what, and what does he say? And then he goes like this. He goes. Hmm. And, I, and I went like this. Oh, shit. I, I, I went. What's up? <laughs> like real slow. Real slow. Yeah. What's up? And I take out my headphones and he goes, Do I know you? This is what the first. Do, wait, but he said, Do I know you? 
turned on. There's two ways to go. Do I know you, Dr. Monica? He said, do I know you from from something? First of all, not somewhere, he, something. He already knows. No, 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 he doesn't. He, he does? So he knows he recognizes me, but he can't put his, okay, he can't put, he can't put his finger on. So he said, do I know you from something? And I said, come on, bro. I don't think so. Like, you a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I know don't. you do that because when we went on the road, people would think I know you. And you go, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I literally like, no, no, no. Yeah. And he goes, you don't, I don't know you from a spirit on a celebrity oh, guy. God. And yeah. people are not looking. People are looking now. Yeah. People are looking at me, so I'm more embarrassed than I usually am. Mm-hmm. And I go, I, I, I think so. And then he goes, hey. Walked away, <laughs> yeah. like annoyed. Yeah. What do you, what do you want me to say? Imagine how okay. much of a fucking cunt I would be okay. if I wanted to. What's up? Do I know you from Probably. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes, are you a celebrity? And I go, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I put a gun in my mouth. It's a trap because I'll tell you why. I've had this happen, right? Yeah. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, but I was on that TV and it was a movie and I'm on the whole podcast. No. And they go, no. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> right? Now you're in the business of throwing your presents out. He's hitting them yeah. with a little bag. He said, yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Is that a show? Yeah. Yeah, it was a sketch show that we did against SNL back in the day. No, what else did you say you were on? A couple of sitcoms, putting up together in animal practice. Putting up animals? Yeah, I, I did some movie that was in the two Harold and Kumar movies, and I did The Dictator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Harold and Kumar. Yeah. No, um, uh, where do they go? They go to Wendy? They smear White your Castle. ass with honey. Yes, yeah. Who are you Greetings. in there? I just played Kenny. Kenny, how you doing? Nope, doesn't ring a bell. What yeah. else? Exactly like Ron fucking Howard. <laughs> right. Tell me the difference between that guy. <laughs> All right. If you were wearing a baseball cap, yes. Yes. All right. That's me. That's, That's you. Literally that is you. me. That is you. Or you flip the script on it. Yeah. Oh, I see. see Whoa, like... is that a director turn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I could do one. I could be a director. Okay. Go ahead. I <laughs> Hey, hey. 
Never found it in Sven. The woodland spirit seeks revenge. This here is him saying we've strayed from the old pirates. Offended him. The monster's killed five already. He doesn't give a rat's arse about paths or tracks or me or you. He's a plowing beast from the plowing forest. Split his ribcage. The strong one is split. Oh, you Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, Geralt, I'm a witcher. A killer for hire. What do you think here? Saw your notice. What notice? This village is home to decent folk only. You won't find any work here. Sure about that? Beast that did this, it's aggressive and incredibly strong. I can help you for a price. I like this man. Ply your trade, Witcher. I believe we will agree terms. Who or what is this woodland spirit? Tell you what it's not. Any of your concern. It's a common beast. Murders any man who ventures into its territory. Exhaustive as descriptions go. What does this spirit look like? Anyone seen it for themselves? No man alive has. Great. Really helpful, all of you. Birds pecked apart his entrails, and here, tooth marks. A large dog, a wolf maybe. This the way it always kills? Only cowards. True warriors, men with the hearts of predators. The spirit grants them an honorable death. You said the creature wants revenge. Why? For what? Our forefathers hunted with spear and knife. This pleased the woodland spirit. He let us live in peace. We never knew hunger. He killed back then, too. He's always killed. How many lads died trying to become hunters? Now, since our hunters died in the war, the beasts turned even more bloodthirsty. We are ungrate. What others buy with gold, we buy with our lifeblood. We are slaves to fear, spread by blind fools like you. These woods are ours. High time we put an end to this beast. I've heard enough. You've got a monster problem, that's clear. Just not sure you want it solved. Oh, we do. Come see me. We'll figure us a fair price for the beast's head. Our little talk while I looked over the corpse? Not nearly enough. Need to look around, figure out what I'm up against. Be not rash, killer. It's not too late to bring back the old ways. I'll decide what to do. But start collecting coin, just in case. I've always wondered, what'll you witchers do once there are no basilisks, leshens, or giants around? Eh? Got me eye <sighs> on you. Huh? A witcher. Ah, every, every man on the island is so bloody simple, simple chap. Witch, seek no trouble. Tricky! Got a trail to follow. Wonder where it leads. Smashed bones. That takes strength. No point in trying to parry its blows.
Let's dance. Looks like rain. Sharpened its claws, or just marked off its territory. Aleshin. Male. Very old. Damn it. Probably marked one of the villagers. Didn't have many friends, did he? Folk aren't willing to look at this kind of death today. But in the past, I remember. I was just a lad. Lugos Herlip led a raid on our village. Found nothing but silence and fog. I could barely make out my pa and my uncles lying in wait behind the trees. I remember how they hunted down one warrior after another. And once they surrounded Hairlip himself, well, I believe he'd rather have faced the woodland spirit. Your spirit is a very old lesson. He's dangerous, but I should be able to deal with him. Rid us of him, yet he's what made us invincible. Turned us into great warriors. Maybe I wasn't clear. The woodland spirit is a monster. Cut with the sword, he'll bleed and die. Like you, like me. He's much more. Thanks to him, the woods team with game, and our women bear strong babes. The power of the woodland spirit makes us the best hunters in the isles. True, not every lad who sets out to be a hunter survives the sacred ritual. But aren't witchers made at similar cost? Back by the tree, you said you know another way to stop the lesson. We must return to the old path, restore the old ways, roam the woods with knife and spear, fight on even terms and prove our valor. That would please him. Our ancestors placed the covenant stone in the woods, made sacrifices of prized game on it, and thus made a pact do as they did. Go south along the brook, Submit to the trial by burning a sacrifice of wolves' hearts on the sacred spot.
haven't decided what to do yet. Try to kill the woodland spirit, and you'll bring his wrath upon us all? Gotta give this some thought. So long. Killing the ice, Jan? Hmm? Hey? Rest up for me, Hildy. Hey, that may be for you. Went to look at the tracks in the woods. Spirit sure knows how to make an impression on intruders. Told you, he likes killing. Almost certain we're dealing with an old lesion. An ordinary beast, then. Just as I said. Not so ordinary. Monster like that's a serious threat to the village. And to me, if you decide to hire me. Oh, don't you fret. We'll have the gold. Just one small problem. The Leshen's marked one of you. As long as that individual lives near its domain, the beast can't be killed. Not completely. Sooner or later, it'll be reborn. Must be one of the elders. Harold, I'm sure of it. You heard him. Words aren't enough. Gotta find the mark my way. <sighs> Folk won't believe you. They'd never listen to an outsider accusing one of their own. But you find the marked one, and I'll handle the rest. Gotta use my senses. Find the one marked by the woodland spirit. Chosen the girl. Damn it. Hmm. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good. 